So it's Christmas. So I guess there's really no better time to tell you guys my favorite Christmas story. Yeah, Christmas. You know, the time of year where all the middle-aged women on Facebook try to convince you that their whole family sleeps in matching pajamas and somehow magically wakes up with their hair done. That time of year where bad guys have to sleep with one eye open because they're not quite sure if America's gonna take the day off or paddle a boat across a frozen river to try to kill them in their sleep. The time of year where the Marine Corps changes their selector switch from making people the less fortunate to helping the less fortunate. Yeah, we're talking about Toys for Tots. It all started in 1947 when then Major Bill Hendricks of the Marine Corps Reserve was instructed by his wife to deliver several handmade dolls to an agency that would give them out to children that were less fortunate. After attempting to do so, he'd report back to his wife Diane to inform her that no such agency existed. To which Diane responded, then fucking make one. And Major Hendricks would do just that. That year of 1947, the Marine Corps Reserve component out of Los Angeles, California, would gather and distribute over 5,000 toys to children that were less fortunate. The following year, in 1948, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, seeing what a huge success it was, would make it a standard across the entire nation. This effort by the Marine Corps would eventually turn into the nonprofit organization we know today as Toys for Tots, where they deliver on average 18 million toys a year to children that are less fortunate. And now for my favorite Christmas story. <clears throat> Orville Smith, a store manager of Best Buy in Augusta, told the police he observed a male customer later identified as Tyrone Jackson of Augusta on surveillance cameras putting a laptop computer under his jacket. When confronted, the man became irate, knocked down an employee, drew a knife, and ran for the door. Outside that door on the sidewalk were four Marines collecting toys for the Toys for Tots program. Smith said the Marines stopped the man, but he stabbed one of the Marines, a Corporal Philip Dunnigan, in the back. The injury did not appear to be severe. After the police and ambulance arrived at the scene, Corporal Dunnigan was transported for treatment. <sighs> See if I can read it this time without laughing. Okay, here we go. The subject was also transported to the local hospital with two broken arms, a broken ankle, a broken leg, several missing teeth, possible broken ribs, multiple contusions, assorted lacerations, a broken nose, and a broken jaw. Injuries that he sustained when he fell off the curb after he stabbed the first Marine, according to the police report. Oh, it's not a war crime if the curb did it, apparently. What happened? It was gravity, I swear. I bet all that guy wants for Christmas is his two front teeth. And the best part about that story is everybody's like, that didn't actually happen. That's gotta be fake. That can't be true. No, here's a Snopes score. Mostly true. And the only reason it's mostly true is because they didn't quite believe it was just the curb. Which is fair, but in the military, you have to understand reality isn't defined by what actually happened. It's defined by whoever has the most sworn statements saying what happened. Meaning that if all four of those Marines are like, motherfucker fell down, I don't know. Then that's what fucking happened. And then there's the other part, which I've said before. If you ever have a chance to hang out with Marines, do it. Because the worst case scenario, the cops show up, and one of them is always a Marine that's gonna let you off easy. And then even if the cops do show up, one of those motherfuckers is a Marine, and he's gonna let you guys off. See, I did say that. So in conclusion, happy holidays, stay safe. We gotta go see Grandma and Grandpa. Quack bang out.